Now we're back to learning GIMP. Let me show you how you can apply, for example, a logo, an image, or text to a mark, a can mockup. It's not a smart object like you may know it from Photoshop. You have to do most of the stuff by hand. Every time you want to apply it, let's first create an empty layer called a text, and I add a logo. Just a quick example so that we have something to apply. And you can see right here, we have a curve on the can. You can use the perspective tool and adjust it to get away with smaller adjustments. But what you actually want to use is a different tool. Oh, I've got trouble selecting this today. So something like this. At first I would go to the mockup and then use a rectangle marquee tool, drag something like this. It should be on top of the can, so don't exceed it. We already created our new layer here, I've called that text. It's transparent, so I go to it. And then I use a white color paint bucket tool, left click on it. Now we have an area to work with and I add my text on top of it. And make that black. I press Ctrl A to have it all selected. Black color. Now I have to find a good size. A 200 still fits. You can change the font and the alignment, all of the stuff. We make the second part a bit bigger. Three fifty is okay. Once again, it's just an example. It should work for all text elements and all images. Make sure it's somewhat in center of the white element, the rectangle. Once that is done, I'll add an image, in our case the logo. But I don't want to have it black, so I right click after to selection, I make it somewhat reddish. I go to edit, fill with foreground color and shift Control a to deselect. I want to have it behind my text, and I also want to scale it a little bit up. So this is our starting point. When you have that text, image, and this white background, you want to merge all of these together to have them on one layer. To do that, you can use the bottom function right here in the Layers menu. When you already have a logo to import that you want to use only, you don't have to do all of this. What you want to have is whatever you want to apply on a single layer and then a mockup on another one. I'm on this text layer, then I go to Filters, Distorts, and there's the Curve Bend. This is actually what you want to use, or at least what I think gives you the best results. Check automatic preview, you can see it in the preview window. I reset this, so you should have a straight line from the start. And you want to check work on copy, so that you preserve the original, because sometimes it's a hit and miss. You have to try a couple of times, I've already done that before shooting this tutorial, so I know that I have to go pretty far here. And you can see in the preview window, the curve that's now applied to our entire layer and you can use the white borders as a measure or as a way to check if you're somewhat in the right direction. For the bottom I think that's good. Let me switch to upper. And here now that the right side has a little bit of a sharper angle. So I, on purpose, distort this a little bit here. Maybe like so. Once you think that you're good, be aware yet again to check this box for work on copy. Just confirm. And we now have this copy and the original in case it's not that. 
good. And here I could have gone a little bit higher on the right hand side. But the bottom curve looks somewhat fine, even though I could have gone more extreme, I think. But we're going to use this. Switch the blending mode to multiply to get rid of the white elements. And now we want to use the perspective tool, but first go to layer and crop the content, then use it, left click on it. And now we can get away using these smaller adjustments. That's not a huge issue anymore. And you can see at the bottom, I could have made this a bit more extreme. This is where we want to be. Use the move tool, reposition that. And this would be the basic process. So as I've said, filters, distorts, and this curve effect, this is what you actually need. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.